Hello everyone, good morning. In this video is mainly about this AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. In the recent days, many people are attempting this. But my request is before attempting your certification, please go through my video. In this video, I will I have covered everything like the most important services topics and few important bits also I have covered in my video. Like recently, even me passed the exam, like it became it will be very very helpful for you guys if you once go through this video like okay let's start the video in this video i am going to cover the most important services and all things like the first thing you have to remember is the collection of data centers is known as availability zone within a specific region like this will be the most uh, important topic like even one bit will come on this topic like you have to buy hard this thing like collection of data centers is known as an availability zone and uh, this is amazon massey this is an important service like it what it will do is it is a fully managed data security and privacy service like and it automatically recognizes and classifies sense to data or intellectual property on aws like whenever if you see a a question related to this data security and privacy like automatically you have to remember this service okay guys and amazon god duty what amazon god duty does is continuously monitor as a environment for suspicious activities like whenever if you go through like continuous monitoring uh, you have to recall this service like amazon god duty service okay and coming to this aws artifact it is an important service also it is a self-service portal used to review and accept manage agreements with aws like generally this bit also will come for many people uh, like how it will be it will be like an indirect question like a person from so and so company going to review and accept some policies like that it will ask you have to remember this thing review and accept manage agreements this line you have to buy heart at this time you have to recall aws artifact in your mind okay and in aws security hub it is a service in this by default it is mentioned like aws security so what will it will do is security status in the aws okay and aws ec2 instance it is a most famous one and this what it will do is it is used to create a self-hosted databases for example if you want to host some static database for this purpose you will use this ec2 instance and this is aws glue uh, what is aws glue is it is an etl related means fully managed extract transform and load service and amazon s3 s3 is like database related things like simple storage service it is used to store large amount of information using hosting static websites suppose if you want to run small html file you can deploy it is in the amazon s3 uh, like that and cloud front it is also important um, mainly one bit will come from this topic a web service that's speed up distribution of static and dynamic web content to users um, for this purpose we will use this cloud front web service and elastic load balancer in this name only that uh, is mentioned like load balancing what it will do is it, it will automatically uh, balance the load means the traffic the number of servers apis routers which are hitting our application uh, and all it will balance everything and coming to these uh, from these three bits uh, i can guess uh, like two will come out of these three at least uh, if you are lucky these 
three concepts will be touched in your exam generally exam will be of around 65 bits out of this um, if you are lucky and good uh, and these three will come like uh, for damn sure at least two concepts will be asked in the exam uh, like what is cloud watch cloud watch is like monitoring service uh, like whenever uh, you come across these uh, things you have to remember it will be of cloud watch only like monitoring service that gives you visibility into the performance and health of your aws resources and applications what is doing is uh, it will just monitor the health and performance like you have to remember the word health and performance and health and this means cloud watch like that you have to remember and cloud trail you will you people will confuse between this cloud front cloud watch and cloud trail uh, in the previous slide we came across the cloud front it will the distribution of static and web dynamic web content for this purpose this cloud front is used in aws and cloud watch is like monitoring purpose and health checkings uh, performance checkings and cloud trail cloud trail is a service that logs ac account activity and api uses uh, like uh, when i have written my exam this bit has came for me cloud trail uh, at that time the question they asked is like so and so person from so and so company uh, came to audit uh, and he needs the logs of an application which service you will pick up like that he asked uh, in that uh, one um, i have a selected cloud trail because in that question only indirectly asked this auditing and monitoring logs these type of keywords got highlighted so whenever if you are reading the documentation and all from aws things you have to remember the service with the help of keywords uh, for the easy purpose only i have written like this i have prepared a ppt like this to explain you guys in an easy way okay and cloud trail means a service that logs aws account activity and api usage for risk auditing and complaints and monitoring okay and route 53 it is a highly scalable domain name service it performs load balancing before traffic reaches our servers like it is for high scalability and availability uh, whenever if a, our, our application is getting high loads it will balance the traffic for our application for that purpose this service will be used and coming to this service amazon virtual private cloud it what it will do is it enables a company to create virtual network within aws if you want to create a virtual network within aws you have to uh, go through this amazon virtual private cloud and security groups this point you have to note down or re remember security groups used to control access to your amazon ec2 instances one bit for sure they will ask like this which is used to control access to your amazon ec2 instances for controlling accesses you have to use the security groups not those iam policies and all okay and this will some like which helps a customer to run a mysql database that easily scales like that question will ask direct question we have to select amazon aurora aurora uses it because it is used to run a mysql database that is of highly scalable and what is amazon workspaces is it is a desktop as a service and this is one of the important thing amazon glacier suppose you want if you want to take a backup for a long time we will use this glacier because of its low cost and advantages and in sometimes in disaster recovery situations uh, we will use this route 53 uh, sometimes this bit may come 
okay and bucket policies what is bucket policies is it is used to grant user access uh, so s3 is a bucket s3 is a database bucket if you want to use grant the permissions you know you have to go through this bucket policies and all and whenever if you heard any billing alarm thing you have to remember that answer would be cloud watch okay billing alarm things related to this cloud watch only and this was this is one one of the most important topic is reasons contain availability zones you have to remember this point okay reasons contain availability zones and this is one of the important service aws snowmobile moving hundred of hundreds of petabytes of amount of data from on premises to aws suppose if you want to uh, move from on premises to aws aws snowmobile will be used and amazon inspector uh, for me one bit came on this topic like it is an aws service that will provide assessment report uh for that purpose amazon x inspector is used and it also used to access application vulnerabilities whenever you heard this term in any question like to access application vulnerabilities you have to um, recall this amazon inspector thing and amazon sts sometimes it will be mentioned like amazon sts sts means security token service it is used to request temporary if you want to need a if you need a temporary credentials um, for that uh, we have to go to we have to use this service and one of the important topic is load balancing and there are three types of load balancers in aws one is of classic load balancer other is of network and other is of application uh, some questions will be asked like uh, what are the load balancers in the below mentioned list choose any two like that a randomly five six options will be given you have to select these three among them so please remember this thing also and this bit term may come because this is a most important topic in aws aws trusted advisor and it is having five categories one is of cost optimization one is of performance one is of security and fault tolerance and other is of service limits okay just remember this thing also and with this i have covered uh, so many most important uh, services uh, let's go to uh, i have gathered around 150 most important uh, questions which get repeated from many exams like i have gathered these from many websites so let's go through these bits uh, it will be very useful and also it will be a quick revision for the guys who are attempting this aws cloud practitioner because even i when i second time i have attempted like so after three years like this expiration date got over so uh, whenever i uh, i take an again i i it will be quick revision for me because i have prepared i have cat i have read from this only so guys it will be also useful for you people also so let's don't waste the time let's go to this 150 i the important questions which i have gathered and coming to this question like which of these can be used to review accept and manage your agreements with aws uh, artifact will be the answer and see this question which aws service enables users to deploy infrastructure as a code by automating the process of provisioning resources uh, 
whenever if you go through this infrastructure as a code by automating the process and all you have to select cloud formation because as we have uh, yeah which of the following service can be used to create a self hosted database uh, previously we have discussed this topic when i am explaining the services about this ec2 instances because ec2 instance is used for self hosting a database we need a ec2 instance um, the things we store in the s3 using this ec2 instance we can run them going to next bit the behavior of multiple technologies during various failover or backup restore scenarios should align to which of the following um, various failover or backup or restore at this time we have to go through recovery point object to and recovery time object to uh, by default what is the maximum number of linked accounts per paying account under consolidated billing so by default uh, in aws 20 will be uh, 20 linked accounts we can use and one indirect question will be like this your web application is currently hosted in us west region in aws you need to ensure users all across the world get a seamless user experience when accessing the application which of the following service can help to achieve this and in this answer will be cloud front because and which of the following is a fully managed extract transform load etl we previously discussed about this etl whenever you hold this word you have to uh, recall this amazon aws glue and coming to this which aws networking service enables a company to create a virtual network within aws to create a virtual network we will go for amazon vpc which is a virtual private cloud which aws service can be used to manually launch instances based on resource requirements uh, for launching instances we will go to amazon ec2 only and which of the following amazon ec2 pricing models allows customers to use existing server bound software licenses mm, it is use existing right so we have to use dedicated only uh, just remember this use existed server bound whenever uh, we got this type of bit we will select a dedicated host only and which of this is a component in an amazon vpc vpc means virtual private cloud and there will be nearly seven or eight components uh, one of them is of internet gateway uh, just um, google like this what are the components in amazon vpc you will get many like um, what is one of the customers responsibility according to aws shared responsibility according to aws shared responsibility application server security will be the customer's responsibility which of the following is not an aws web service used for transferring large amount of data into aws s3 uh, snowball is used to transfer acceleration snowball is also used so aws dms which elastic load balancer type would be the best suited to help you to host a website um, previously we discussed about this load balancing while explaining the services uh, there will be three application network and classic uh, for ho for hosting a website we will use this application type of load balancing 
what can you use to control access to your amazon ec2 instances um, for controlling access we have we will use the security groups which aws service lets you add user sign in sign up and access control your web and mobile apps quickly and easily uh, for this purpose this aws cognito service we, we will use which of the following is an aws reason for which customer access is restricted um, for government cloud uh, no customer access will be given how does aws most effectively reduce computing cost for a growing startup company um, for a growing startup company it provides on demand resources for peak uses um, for which auditing per process does aws have sole responsibility um, physical security will be the answer uh, you can restrict access based on request time the above statement refers to which of the following uh, similar type of bits will come we have to um, for this like this you can restrict access based on request time uh, they mentioned time so we have to go for date condition which of this can be used to set up a mysql database in aws uh, in aws generally aws rds and aws ec2 is used for setting up a mysql uh, database because rds is for storing and ec2 is for creating those instances a customer needs to run a mysql database that easily scales which service should use um, damn sure amazon error only it is used to run a mysql database that can easily scales which is not one of the five aws web services trusted advisor categories uh, security cost optimization performance will all these come under uh, this trusted advisor categories uh, and there will be five trusted advisor categories which i have uh, shown you people in the previous slide uh, while discussing about these services and all so the option will be the application transformation and this will be an indirect question metadata which you can include with your object is not encrypted yeah the above statement is completely true because metadata which you can include with your object is no, there is no need to encrypt the metadata which we have included in our object which of the following aws service can help you to access the fault tolerance of aws environment uh, aws trusted advisor generally used to access the fault tolerance and entertainment uh, this type of questions we will get so many times like this an entertainment company performs image and video processing jobs from time to time if time is flexible for these jobs to complete which instant time will be most effective uh, from time to time if time is flexible so it, he mentioned like time is flexible uh, so we have to remember this keyword like time is flexible on these times we will go for spot instances which of the following is desktop as a service uh, blindly we can go for amazon workspaces which of these aws services use primarily ec2 resources under the hood um, elastic beanstack and lifestyle will use these ec2 re resources while uh, this elastic block store uses this um, ebs is uses this aws lambda and uh, elastic beanstack things and rdb relation database service also we can neglect
which cloud design principle aligns with AWS cloud for best practices the distribute the compute load across multiple regions which AWS service used for long term low cost storage of data backups uh, damn sure we have to remember like for long term low cost storage we will use AWS class here which of these architectural principles help you to avoid cascading failures while architecting your cloud applications uh, this will be prefer loosely coupled architectures and this bit will be like which AWS service provide any to extend on premises architecture to the AWS cloud so we will choose AWS direct connect and AWS storage gateway because for networking we will use this direct connect and route 53 for storage purposes storage gateway AWS backup data sync transfer for SFTP will be used and identity management will be directory service and IAM which is not listed here and resource and deployment management will be that code deploy system manager and all also here are not mentioned so we will select this direct connect and aws storage gateway networking and storage and this will be an indirect question like an it company has set of ec2 instances hosted in vpc they are hosted in a private subnet these instances now need to access resources stored in an s3 bucket the traffic should not traverse the internet the addition of which of the following would help to fulfill this requirement uh, it will be of like vpc endpoint and this virtual private cloud uh, in the question also he mentioned like in a vpc so it will be vpc endpoint which aws service monitors your aws resources and the applications to run an aws in real time uh, for monitoring purpose we will use this amazon cloud watch which of the following are collection of data centers within a specific region availability zones will be the answer which of the following aws service support plans gives you to access to a well architecture review for business critical workloads uh, for well we have to remember this well architecture review for for business critical architect workloads we will use this enterprise thing which of the following load balancer can be used at either the application http https will be um, the application load balancer and or the transport layer will be tcp ssl then both will be covered in classic load balancer what are the fundamental charges for elastic block store volumes um, the amount of data storage provisioned and the provisioned IOPs will be the fundamental charges for EBS what is the minimum AWS support plan level that will be provide users to access to the AWS support API for support minimum support we will use this business thing which of the following are benefit of AWS cloud elasticity collation capital expenses unlimited uptime agility so agility and elasticity will be uh, the thing and why i am revealing every bit will like this because like whenever you have read the question you have to um, by heart the answers which of these aws services allow you to automatically increase and decrease the number of aws so in the question only he mentioned like automatically increasing and decreasing it will come under as scalability so answer will be aws auto scaling which options does aws make available for customers who want to learn about security in the cloud 
this will be aws online tech talks and aws classroom training which of the following is a factor when calculating tco total cost of ownership and aws web services the number of servers migrated to aws will be considered as a factor here which of the following are prerequisites to enable organizational view your accounts must be the members of aws organization must have all features enabled okay this will be all of the above in the aws shared responsibility model which of the following are the examples of the responsibility of aws um, securing edge locations and decommissioning medium will be the responsibility of aws and encrypting data iam roles passwords everything uh, this customer has to manage what can be used to call aws services from different programming languages uh, this will be aws software development kit which service can identify the user that made the api call when the amazon elastic clouds instance is terminated um, api whenever you hold the name api we have to remember this cloud trail when using an elastic load balancer which process checks for connections requests using configured protocol and port listener generally we will use for this which of the following components of aws global infrastructure consists of one or more discrete data centers interconnected through low latency links it will be like availability zone which amazon virtual cloud feature enables users to connect two vpcs together for this uh, connecting of two vpcs means it will be peering so it will be amazon vpc peering which of these helps you to create your own isolated network in aws cloud uh, it will um, for this purpose we will use uh, virtual private cloud GW service can serve a static website or S3 by default we'll use static websites S3 only which what benefits does is location provide on um, caching of resources and low latency access what service would be the most useful in a disaster recovery situation for disaster recovery things for backing up things we'll use this route 53 which of the following requires an access key and a security access key to get programmatic aws access we for this we will use aws account root user and iam user what type of instance would you use for application being deployed developed or tested on amazon ec2 um, for this we will use on demand instances which service would you use to send alerts based on amazon cloud watch alarms um, for this simple notification services which will be used for directly sending alerts to users mobiles and all things now uh, this will be an indirect question a company is migrating an application that is running on non interruptible workloads for a three year time frame which of these would provide the most cost effective solution uh, here in this mentioned for three years time frame so for this purpose we will go for reserved instances what technology enables compute capacity to adjust as loads change uh, it is telling the loads will change for that automatically it will scale from higher to low uh, so it will come as auto scaling which of this is a predefined template that contains a software configuration um, for example an operating system operating server 
and applications to launch AWS EC2 instance that will be Amazon machine image what is the minimum AWS support plan that provides designated technical account managers sometimes this will be indirectly asked like TAM TAM which means technical account managers for this manager account managers we will use this enterprise thing we have to remember this thing which of the below methods can be used to put objects into glacier uh, for this s3 lifecycle policies and glacier api because glacier console and aws console are just command line interfaces with the help of which service you can grant users with your aws account or other aws accounts to access your s3 resources uh, yeah, generally s3 is a bucket for granting these things we need bucket policies which of the following aws accounts have access to aws personal health dashboard uh, basic developer business everything we, for the, all these things will have that access what aws service have uses edge locations for content catching uh, cloud front we choose whenever you need to you see had seen this edge location we will use this aws cloud front a company is looking to build a serverless architecture in aws cloud which of the following services uh, serverless for this amazon api gateway and aws lambda because for example aws lambda is a not a serverless it is just a method type of thing and api is also a serverless thing so we are selecting these two which aws service let connected devices easily securely aws iot core what exclusive benefit is provided to users with enterprise support um, previously also one bit came whenever you see the enterprise we have to remember tam technical account manager and amazon uh, relational database service offers which of the following benefit AWS automatically scales up instant types on demand. Which of these payment options gives you the best discount for resolved instances? All upfront we will use. Mechanism allows developers to access AWS services from application code software development kit an elastic ip address can be remapped between ec2 instances across which boundaries availability zones and this will be an indirect question controls which a customer fully inherit from aws inherited controls because the question only it is mentioned like inherit which of the following is not a compute service a ebs is not a compute service because uh, generally aws is having three compute services one is of aws ec2 aws lambda and aws pin stack what is aws service that provides a virtual network dedicated to your aws account virtual network he only mentioned in the question so we will use amazon virtual private cloud which of the following aws service wireless application firewall can be attached to for this we will use this cloud front and application load balancer these two uses the firewall in aws each of the following is an advantage of using cloud formation general cloud formation lets users to create multiple aws environments so we are selecting this option what is an aws cloud design best practices 
uh, they are generally scalability availability and all uh, here i availability is there HAWS hybrid storage service enables on-premise applications to seamlessly use AWS cloud storage through standard file storage protocols. This will be AWS gateway storage gateway. What is an hybrid cloud? Hybrid cloud is simply a mix of public and private. So using a mix of AWS and on-premises to run your applications. As a part of AWS shared responsibility model, which of the following operational controls do users fully inherit from AWS? Uh, they will be user and access management. How can an organization access application for vulnerabilities? Whenever you will get vulnerabilities, we have to recall this AWS inspector. Data is encrypted with the key generated by AWS which key to supply depending on your requirements s3 sse it will be answer simple secure thing this is a very easy question but it will be used many times uh, almost every person who attempt the exam will get this question like which of the following below can use it to host on s3 uh, s3 used for static websites because e-commerce dynamic streaming and all those things uh, dynamic things which services does aws offer for free on uh, this iam roles and bean stack these two we can use for free uh, like people who use just the free trial will get used to know this more which of the following are the factors about s3 billing storage requests and data retrievals and data transport where can resources be launched when configuring aws auto scaling uh, in multiple availability zones within a region we can be cons configure them which aws service can be used to provide network connectivity between an on-premises network and vpc uh, either we can use direct connect and also we can use vpn which of the following is an aws managed computing service lambda because aurora sws is to is are not aws managed things which of these aws services is a fully managed messaging qa service uh, sqs only you need to quickly run a mission critical batch program that cannot be interrupted which of the following whenever we go to the mission critical batch program we have go for on-demand instances which is not a category of checks provided by trusted advisor generally for trusted advisor service limits cost optimization performance will be considered but here the ask not a category for reliability will be the answer going to next question your enterprise does not have a in-house aws expertise which of these services can help you for cloud migration for this X aws part network and aws professional services which of these AWS services can be used to protect Amazon Route 53 cloud frontage, ELB and distributed denial of services attacks, uh, shield, we will go for the shield. Which of the following helps you to private connectivity between AWS and your data center to reduce your network cost? For this situation, we will go for Amazon Direct Connect only because it only will reduce network costs going to next question which of these are used to manage permissions for a set of users in AWS 
generally iim group is used for this managing permissions as an in role roles and all for the users which of this nq not a recommendation under operation excellence pillar use temporary credentials when possible which of these options is recommended for moving hundreds of petabytes of data uh, found premises to aws migration will use aws no mobile which of these aws services can be used to protect your web application from malicious requests from specific IP address you will use web application firewall to provide ec2 instances in aws management console and aws cloud formation this bit will be which two aws services can be used to move data from on premises data centers to aws uh, snow mobile and this database migration service generally used for this purposes which of the following security related actions are available at no cost uh, for this for accessing forms blocks and googling which generally don't cost uh, compared to these three options mentioned here so we'll go for this option how should a customer forecast the future cost for running a new web application uh, for forecasting uh, we can check in the aws cost and uses report How can AWS user within AWS basic support plan obtain technical assistant? Generally, a person with a basic support plan, he, he can take the assistance from the AWS trusted advisor and these AWS TAM senior support teams discussions are all for the enterprise and remaining support plans. What are the two advantages of resort instances? Uh, generally reserved instances will provide discount to our on-demand pricing and also uh, it will be reserved capacity in the availability zones which security service automatically recognizes and classifies sends to data uh, for this purpose amazon mackie will be used what is the best resource for a user to find complaints related information and reports about aws for this we will use this aws artifact whenever if you use recall this complaints related information go through this aws artifact which aws service is used to provide encryption for aws ebs uh, for encryption we will go for this key management service of amazon you need to run a mysql that easily scales for this purpose we will go for amazon aurora because amazon aurora is a mysql database that can easily scale which aws service or resources serverless um, generally AWS Lambda is a serverless thing. Which AWS service can be used to automatically scale up and down? In the question only he had given for us the clue that scale automatically scale. The answer will be auto scaling. Uh, because up and down scaling means auto scaling. The ability to horizontally scale Amazon EC2 instances based on demand is an example of which service he is asking in this question. Uh, when coming to automatically scale based on demand, it will come as elasticity. Which of the following AWS service can be used to solve large amount of online video content with lowest possible latency will be the Amazon cloud front only uh, because it will use it to solve large amount of data. 
which AWS service provides a quick and automated way to create and manage AWS accounts. Um, for this, we will go for this AWS organizations. And this will be an indirect question like your company is planning on hosting a mission critical application on AWS platform. The application would be hosted on EC2. The company wants to add highest level of fault tolerance, which a design pattern could be used coming to application infrastructure. And for this, the instances in multiple availability zones in two regions. What is the availability model of DynamDB? Data is synchronously replicated across three facilities in a region. Uh, which of the two following examples when it comes to agility of cloud platform? When it comes to agility, it will be like infrastructure scalability and less time to deploy an application. These two you have to select. Your company wants to set up an EC2 instance in AWS. These EC2 instances would be used to host an application that will be available 24 by 7. Uh, it will be like availability of 24 by 7. It will come as reserved instances. Your IT manager is creating a business case for moving resources from one premises to AWS. Which of the two should be considered as total cost of organization analysis it will be like uh, it is an indirect question at that time we will go for software licensing and database instance size what information must be entered into aws total cost calculator uh, number of end users no it will be like the number of servers in your company which service can you use to monitor store access and ec2 instances on and on on premises for this we'll go for amazon cloud watch logs going to next bit how aws charge for the use of nat gateways uh, for this it will charge like price per gb processed and price for gateway hour utilized and which aws service can scale automatically without interaction and generally for this this s3 and dynamo db which scale automatically based on the uh, traffic and the loads which service provides visibility into user activity by recording actions taken on your account uh, user activity he mentioned for this will go for cloud trial which aws service provides pre-configured virtual private servers that include everything required to deploy an application uh, generally this is amazon light sale here we provide pre-configured virtual private servers companies planning to migrate some resources into cloud which factors need to be considered in this the amount of servers migrated to ec2 from on premises and the egress data per month to be considered here which aws service provides elastic web scale cloud computing among allowing you to deploy operating system instances here talking about elastic scale cloud computing this will go for ec2 which two configuration changes are associated with scaling vertically adding a larger capacity hard drive to a server and changing each instance to a type that have more cpu and ram the configuration changes associated with you scaling vertically on aws which manages a data warehouse service that is desired to operate at less than tenth of the cost of traditional services uh, for this redshift will be used redundancy can be implemented in which of the following models uh, generally 
redundancy can be implemented by both standby and act to models act to modes which service provides seamless experience for developing serverless applications and ability to usually define resources debug and switch between local and remote execution of serverless applications um, for this whenever you go for execution of serverless application you have to remember this aws cloud 9 and to request temporary security credentials which service can be used uh, security credentials it will be like maws sts aws sts is used for uh, this security things sts means security token service these tags this is an indirect question these tags were attached with to the iam role that you assumed on the question only it mentioned like tags iam so option will be iam tags it is not recommended to maintain many synchronous replicas uh, like it is not it, generally it is not recommended to maintain many synchronous replicas so it will be true only next question is you can replace unhealthy nodes automatically using which of the following service uh, using auto scaling eb stack and ec2 so all of the above will be the answer if you have large binary audio video files which of the following most efficient to store generally for these all things and hosting static things and all we will use this s3 bucket only which service is fast scalable highly available uh, fully managed document database uh, when for only document database service only one thing is there that is of amazon document db uh, that can support mongodb workloads we have to remember this thing and this uh, this type of bits generally will appear uh, which ec2 pricing model enables bidding at whatever price is desired for instance capacity making uh, here he mentioned like bidding at whatever price is desired means at the time what for the instance what amount is there at the spot we have to buy that thing for this thing we will use the spot instances oh uh, this question will be like which of the below is load balancer types generally we have discussed um, while uh, discussing about these services in AWS uh, there are three types of load balancers like application networking and classic load balancing in this scenario we want to control service usage across multiple AWS accounts which AWS organizations which of the following would be accomplish this task um, for this we will use this service control policies it will be an indirect question a consulting firm is conducting a sarbanes olexi complaint oxley complaints audit it it operations the auditor requests visibility of logs event history across your aws based employee expense system infrastructure which aws service will record and provide give you the information you need Mm, generally it will ask whenever you see this visibility to logs of event history across these things visibility of logs and all uh, will go for amazon cloud trial which of the following statements are true about who can use iam roles generally a web service offered by aws iam user in different aws account and iam user in the cmaws account these three will be correct which of the following is aws responsibility for the shared responsibility model uh, for shared responsibility model 
regions availability zones edge locations aws will take care of and customer data and uh, customer data protection uh, and the staff training at all those are all not related to this aws responsibilities and this is about these bits explanations i hope you got him you are now more confident and you got enough knowledge um, on this aws cloud practitioner and all the best thank you for watching bye